Go back. Go back, Pop. I wanted to know uh, the state of uh, blackness and Kaloon. What is the connection or is there a difference between okay. the two? Okay, the state of blackness and all, right? Okay, all, all precedes light because light is a thing. And let me explain what I mean by light is a thing. Remember what I said last week, there's no such thing as light? When they say light, they're talking about different moods of vibrational energies. That means fine new particles that are coming from the sun at you at different speeds and you call them light. There is no such thing as the light. There's energy coming from that thing. And we're picking it up as light. And they're not, it's not a beam of solid mass, it's particles of energy. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, what we're calling light is not a mass, a whole. It's within the whole, like, um, let's say, you have two major lights. You have fluorescent and incandescent, right? That up there is incandescent. It's blinking, but you don't see it because it's blinking so fast. It's going off and on, whereas fluorescent fills the tube with certain gas and it lights and it just stays permanent, but there's still little particles of gas in the tube that gives you this illuminating thought. You hear me? That means that light in itself breaks down into particles. The all cannot be particles because it cannot be part. And particles are portions. The all is. Now, darkness is. Darkness can't be particles. Because light particles manifest in darkness's existence. As are all. So, yes, gloom and darkness is all. God is light. <laughs> and God is a particle in the darkness. Because God is talking from the darkness about what he's going to do with light. So God is at a specific point in space and time when he says, let there be light. Let there be light. Or let light exist. And he makes reference in the Bible to that light as the sun. Right? Now the sun is 93 odd million miles from Earth. So it's a certain distance from us. You with me? It's there. And it's sending these rays toward us. It's not 99. And it's not 91. It's 93 varying. You follow? So the light that God said let exist, he let exist at a specific point in space and time. And on the third planet from the sun, we're 93 million miles away from that. The light that he said let exist. You follow that? So God designated a place for it. So light doesn't just exist. It's, been, it's there. And then he said, and the uh, moon to separate the evening from the morning and stars. And God, now I had to step on your toe, God made a mistake. A, he said he made a great light and a lesser light. And he referred to the lesser light as the moon in your Bible. When the moon is non-luminous and doesn't have any light of its own. So it's not a lesser light. You know what I'm saying? That's a mistake on God's part. And when God created the sun and then he says he made stars also stars are sun so whoever wrote the bible didn't know that all the stars are suns bigger than this sun now God is supposed to know that God is supposed to know that the moon doesn't give off its own light also what point is God at where he can focus on light? See, God, to see the sun, 
has to be somewhere. Because the sun is not all over the universe. That sun is in a specific place in a specific galaxy. I mean, it's in the Milky Way. It's in one galaxy out of millions of them. And God discusses this one sun in this one galaxy. And he says it does what? What's the purpose of it? So now let's go to another star like that one. That's not our sun. What planet is it separating night and day for? And that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Or was that only this one sun? See, you can tell that whoever wrote the story was on the earth looking up, not out looking down. <laughs> whoever wrote the story about the sun rising, like the Muslims get up to make Salat al-Fajr, when the sun rises, you can't be Allah and watch the sun rise. You have to be horizontal to watch this vertical action. To watch it come up from behind the planet. And if you're really God, you know the sun don't rise. You'd see through that one too. And you know there's no crescent moon. And you know there's no such thing as night. There is no night. The sun is still shining someplace. And I can keep doing these things. And he divided the waters. The waters on the planet are not divided. All the waters are connected. Be they surface or beneath the surface, they are connected. So God made another mistake. Now, is that God making that mistake? Or are those men acting like God making mistakes? And God, me and you worshiping the Bible, praising the Bible, killing for the Bible, fighting for the Bible, and hating each other in the name of the Bible. And it's all man written with mistakes. Obvious mistakes. Last thought. Was Jesus God in the flesh according to Christianity? How tall was Jesus? It's simple. How tall was Jesus? Don't guess, no. How tall was Jesus? Because if Jesus is not as tall as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, then, then uh, he wasn't bigger than <laughs> He wasn't bigger. He wasn't Akbar. He wasn't the biggest. How big was Jesus? If he was God incarnated and someone was hefting him or stronger than him, then that man was the strength that God didn't have. The power that God didn't have. And if man is in the image and the likeness of God, which one of us, 5'1", five 5'2", five 5'3", five 5'4 five and a half, 6 foot 1", 6 foot 2", which is the image and likeness of God? So if I make an image and likeness of a statue, unless I Specify that it is a miniature version of it. It should be a replica or duplicate. And if we're in the image not the likeness of God, then we should all be the same height, the same weight, the same nose shape, same eye structure. We should all look the same. Now, who is in the image and after the likeness of God? Another mistake. God is a he in the Bible. So in whose image and likeness is she? And don't say man's because she doesn't have a penis. Well, she does, but it's not as, as elongated as man's. We hope. <laughs> we can't tell no more. You don't know. There's obvious mistakes. Give it back to him. Give him back his garbage, 